and gentlemen, Hayfest is getting closer every single day, coming to you on Sunday, July 3rd, 2011, and featuring 12 of the finest bands Wigan Borough has to offer. Out of all those bands, one who certainly promised to be very entertaining are none other than Smith and Kitten, so to find out a bit more about them and what they're planning for the festival, the link popped down to the local pub to have a bit of a chat. Here's what happened. Uh, I'm Will Potts and I play bass in the band. I'm uh, John Hodgson, play drums. I'm Sam Miller, I'm the guitarist and singer. I'm Josh and I'm the other guitarist. Um, so how did you feel when you got the call to say you were shot to play first this year? Great, right, we're all Excited, pretty it? chuffed. Uh, yeah, good news. Is this the first time you've applied or you've applied with, Yeah, I applied for it with another band a few years ago. But this is the first time with this band, yeah. Really, so pretty good to get on the first time around. Yeah. Fantastic. Um, what sort of things have you got planned for the big day? Um, got a new track. And uh, just going to try and put on as good a show as we can, really. Okay. And for those people who um, might not know much about you, what how would you describe the fun? Um, yeah, fun. 80s feel good rock and roll, that's what it is. <laughs> um, and how do you think you stand out from some of the other bands? That are... um, I think we're different. I don't think there's many uh, 80s themed bands around Wigan. I think, uh, I think we're a bit more of a laugh than. <laughs> so. Um, was it sort of a conscious decision that that was a re- you were going to take with your music, or was it just a natural thing that um, you guys? Well, I've done quite a few things in like John's in John's in like a metal band as well. So we're all, um, but um, it was just from doing other music and stuff. It was like this seemed like the most fun thing to do. But that's what I thought. So. I think we've all got good characters as well, you know, we have a laugh. So, you know, um, which is great, we all get on really, really well. You know, it's, it's Fantastic. And then, what sort of stage show are you going to be doing at Hay? What can people expect that are going to come and see you on the day? Um, well, I'm still well working you on won't it. be getting any <laughs> pyrotechnics or anything. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, yeah, we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be trying to get everyone involved. That's what it's about. It's more about the audience, really. Than, uh, so. um, we'll go back and talk about a bit of the band itself. Um, how long have you been together now for? Um, just over a year, about. Yeah, just over. Good, a good. Year. Off, I don't know. Eighteen months or like that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and how did you all come together? John Knight in St Helens. Oh, yeah. uh, that's that's, how it that's where I met John, yeah. and then obviously Josh. Josh is my brother, so um, yeah, that's how I know him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, Will Will's like our second bassist, so he got recommended by a friend, and then cool. that's how we know him. So and did it all gel together pretty quickly from there? Yeah, yeah. I think we all work well together, to be honest. Yeah. And what have been some of the highlights of the first 18 months together? Um, gigs, travelling, yeah. yeah, it's been really fun. Playing lives just got to be the best thing. Um, it's just so much more. I don't know. You just get into it a lot more than being in a like recording, recording tracks. It's so much better. Like. Yeah, just playing all. We've been playing all over the northwest, which we've done some some good ones and some Small. bad ones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. Spinal tap. Yeah. Um, playing in front of the bar staff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some places you go and it's just deserted, um, and other places. There's a gig in Wales that we do, and it's just. Awesome. The pub's always well, it's just good. full, and yeah. yeah, it's great. So is that like a regular thing you go back to that? Um, we've done it twice, don't we? We've done it twice. Um, we're waiting to hear is it the for our third booking to, uh, next year. So we're waiting. Another date later. 
What's been some of the most memorable gigs? Definitely shot in, in Wales. Yeah, that um, I remember the Chester one quite well. That was a good yeah, one. place in Chester. Um, Brooker's Bar, is it? Yeah, 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 yeah. in Chester, yeah. Gambers yeah. Road, or was it the uh, Black Dog, which is the Black, Black Dog? Dog oh, the yeah. Placing yeah, yeah. Oswald Twistle, call the Black the Dog. Mental in there. <laughs> Steve, Steve <laughs> Tyler was there. <laughs> Look alike. Fantastic. And yeah. um, what about local where that's to be played locally? Locally, there's. Um, the Enfield, isn't it? The Enfield, which is a pub. Um, it seems to be the best places for us, like in a pub, because I mean, you get, I think you get a wider range of audience. Like, you get like from students up to like sixty-year-olds in there, and like, yeah. So it's whereas if we go in a club, it's all young people, and we want we want everyone really. So, so would you say Smithkin attracts a certain kind of fun? I, th- I think everyone likes it because we play like it's sort of like the old style, but it's <laughs> but I think young people can appreciate it because it's a good laugh to be honest. Like the music, there's it's full of like jokes and sort of it's not completely serious. It's it's me- it's, it's meant to be fun. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's something that's lacking in like music at the moment. Yeah, definitely. I yeah. think so. There's not enough fun these days. You know, you should be able to enjoy music. Don't, don't take it too serious. And, you know, you should always have a laugh, it's, no matter what you do. Yeah, and communicating with your audience as well. That's something that seems to be lacking a lot on the music scene. Like, um, yeah, we we just love it. We, yeah. Do you have any idea why those sort of things might be lacking? I think part of it's the style of music. I mean, uh, I suppose you, you can't you can't put on like you can't jump around and go mental if you're playing downbeat sort of music. Whereas I suppose we can. That's why we wanted to do this yeah. stuff because you can have a laugh with it. You know? I'm sure, there's plenty of room in the industry for us. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone needs a bit of fun in their life, don't you? Yeah, yeah. definitely. So definitely. Cool. Um, so that influences um, the sheer individual influences, or is it collective? Should we just go around and say, I'll, I'll start. Yeah. Uh, for me, it's like Def Leppard, White Snake, Kiss, Guns N' Roses, all that sort of stuff. Uh, that's what. That's sort of the style we're doing. Um, yeah. Deep Purple, Black Sabbath. All the old classics, you know, Led Zeppelin, you know, uh, Iron Maiden, Metallica now, you know, uh, drummers, Cozy Powell, Nick Cormac Brain, uh, Buddy Rich, absolutely fantastic, even though he's, you know, I'm, I'm too young, <laughs> but for what I'm seeing of him, he's absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, I've got quite a few influences, uh, brilliant. Uh, everything really from rock, metal, heavy metal. I like all sorts. Uh, Guns N' Roses is one of my favourite bands. Duff McKagan is a great bass player. Um, I like everything really. It's influenced by all sorts of different styles. Really. Um, it's been uh, I don't know, just uh, classic rock, really. Guns N' Roses. Uh, a lot of 70s rock, really. I like, I like uh, yeah, uh, I'm big into Jimi Hendrix as well. Uh, yeah, like 60s, 70s classic rock mainly. And how do you find those influences come together when you're making your music? I'm going to say I'm going to be skinned. Well, we're, we're all similar, like minded. Music wise, otherwise it wouldn't work, I don't think. But, but we all we all do have certain. Um, I mean, I write the songs, and like, so obviously the Def Leppard sort of 80s era stuff comes through, but then you get drum, jo, uh, John putting some double bass over it, <laughs> <laughs> like metal drumming over it. So it's. Well, I tend not to as much. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, and what else have you got coming up? We've got loads of gigs. Um, Hair Fest, obviously, which should be the highlight, hopefully. Yeah, can't wait for that. Um, we've just got a unsigned band of the week on a rock radio. I'll see you post that. Um, which was good news. We only found out this week, and um, what else have we got coming up? We've got a new single coming out soon. Mama's Little Angel. <laughs> Hopefully next week. Yeah. Just getting getting everything down. We've started the recording process and just nearly finished so. And we'll keep able to get that from the website Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna give it out free so we'll we'll be posting more about that. Soon. Cool, no problem. Yeah. yeah, just let me know. We'll make a mention of it. Yeah. We'll just get this sort of thing up. Wait, anything else? Yeah. Anything else? Um, I just want to rock and roll. Just get out there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Get out there and do it, innit? Just, uh, loads of gigs. We're, um, we're hoping to we're hoping to get more local stuff as well because we do we play everywhere, so it's. Uh, like we're at, we're not in Wigan that much, which um, um, so I hope you should be seeing us around uh, Wigan hopefully more soon. Everywhere we play, you know, it seems to that uh, everyone enjoys it. Everywhere we go, we never have a bad, bad uh, you know, say about us or nothing. You know, so, um, I'm hoping Airfest we do really really well. I know the audience do appreciate us what we do. Is there anything particularly you're looking to take away from it? Is there something you want to get out of it specifically? Or? Just more fans. It's um, it, it's just about getting heard, really. It just takes one person to hear you, and then you can start something else. And then... We're working at that. We're, you know, yeah. we're always practicing and you know, putting up ideas. You know, you know, doing things. You know, but just, uh, just, just want to try and get everyone. Everyone yeah. at Hayfest singing along. Yeah, that's, yeah. The that's, that's what we want to do, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. You know, a lot of the bands in previous years, like that's been the main thing. You want to get more fans, so bring down like CDs or flyers yeah. and get them off. Yeah. 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 To come back to get t-shirts as well, sorted for Hayfest. Yeah. If we can, a few yeah. people have asked for t-shirts. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, still on Hayfest. Just... Have you checked out any of the other bands that? Have played? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. They're really Very good. Helped. Yes. Great, yeah, I think I think Mary Hell. I'm a. I don't I don't like to say because it's singing, but like uh, they're probably my particular favourites on the lineup. But I, I know quite a few of the bands actually. Uh, the lottery winners, I know them. Uh, I've seen Jeremiah Ferrari a few times. Facing Page, I know. One of them. <laughs> went to my college. Yeah. So, so hopefully we'll all be able to get together and have a laugh with the other I think bands. Good. So. <laughs> I think every band who's upstairs, you know, it's good. I think they'll give it their all. You know, um, it's no competition. We're not doing our thing. They're not doing their thing. You know, we're not trying to be, you know, number one band. We just want to make sure that everybody enjoys us. And if you any thoughts about the local music scene in general? Uh, yeah, I mean, there's, there's, I, I would like there to be quite a, more opportunities, like, uh, to get, because there, there's some great gigs, like, um, the Tudor's always a great night, on, um, with the, uh, Music Collective, and, um, there's, like, obviously, Hairfest, Hairfest, you don't, it's just amazing, like the opportunity it gives, like unsigned band. You couldn't you couldn't play on a stage that big and, unless you were like Bon Jovi or something, <laughs> unless you made it big. Um, and this, it's just great that it gives an opportunity for like bands that just just stand. Yeah, it's, it's just great. Yeah. To everything, you know, on a stage like that, it gives you everything, doesn't it? You know. 
massive but yeah. yeah and there's no there's just no other opportunity about not that I know of anyway that you can play on a stage like that without without making it big so it's, it's definitely like one of the highlights yeah gems have uh, been on a stage like that all my life yeah. you know it's come through <laughs> <laughs> Is there any nerves thinking that there's going to be thousands of people staring back at you? Um, well, they're bad, they aren't they? They're yeah. I, I, don't, I don't get nervous. I'm, I, I'm really more really. nervous about this interview than yeah. playing. <laughs> I'll be more nervous about making mistakes than anything. <laughs> <laughs> I think when, when it's more nerve wracking playing to two people than 5,000 because if you're playing to two, you can. You can see everyone's reaction. <laughs> Whereas it doesn't matter out of 5,000 people, there's going to be someone who likes you. So. And have you got a, any kind of message you want to give to those fans who are going to come and see you? Uh, yeah, just just make sure you uh, join in. Join in the fun. <laughs> yeah, just uh, participate. There's, there's a lot of uh, opportunities in our music to just get involved because they're just so simple, the songs, that you'll, you'll learn them in seconds. <laughs> Anyone else, anything to add? Just roll on, just roll on. <laughs> uh, just one last question for you. Um, if you could give any piece of advice to a young band just starting out who wanted to keep playing gigs, maybe getting to for a couple of years, what advice could you give them? Just listen to what I've said, enjoy it, you know, be yourselves, don't try to be somebody else. Yeah. Just get on with it. Yeah. Practice. Yeah. And uh, yeah, just gig as much as you can. You can't we get we learn so much more from gigging than we do in a practice room. We can spend we can spend all day practicing but at so the end good, of the yeah. day we'll just more if if we're spontaneous about things and just at a gig we'll say, Let's try this and it, you just it just comes together live, it's so uh, the best thing is just get out there and play. Yeah, get out there as soon as you can and just, just don't don't care what people think as well. You you're not gonna be amazing when you start off but you just can't you can't let what people think um and what have you always said? Get you don't have to be an amazing guitarist to make great music. And thanks once again to Sam, Will, Josh and John for taking the time to talk to us. Don't forget you can catch Smith and Kitten live at Hayfest 2011 on Sunday, July 3rd. The event starts at 12pm and Smith and Kitten take to the stage around 2.40. As they mentioned, the band's new single, Mama's Little Angel, is available now for free download from their MySpace at myspace.com slash smithandkittenuk. Um, the band are also on Facebook, Reverb Nation and a bunch of other places and you can get the links for all those on the Hayfest website at www.wlct.org slash Hayfest11. Then, if you're feeling really kind, we'd love it if you could come and say hi to the link on Facebook at facebook.com slash the link magazine. Till next time, take care.